Kia ora. Um, I'm cooking today Cook's Turban for tea. So I've never done a live before, so um, just bear with me. I'll just get everything ready. Okay, put all those words on there. Okay, so this is a Cook's Turban. And when you go diving, you'll see them in the water and you get them with um, power. And in Māori, in our New Zealand language, uh, Māori language, we call them toi toi. There's other Māori uh, words for them as well, but the a common one is toi toi. And they're a, a snail. So, the French have snails, so do we. And they're right around the world, you can find these. And what they eat is, um, what do they eat? They eat uh, algae and that type of thing. And the, you see the little wee baby um, cook's turban, they'll be on the kelp. They're like little wee snails eating along the kelp. So there they are there. Can you see there? Now, what I do is I soak these in cold water for a couple of days. And that's to purge the sand out of them because they're in salty water. So they've got sand in them and you don't want to eat grit. So I'll sit them in um, cold water where it's cold. It's winter here at the moment, so they'll um, they're in a they've been in a bucket of water for three days actually, and that's taken a lot of sand out, but not at all not all of it out. Um, then after that, I'll empty the bucket and rinse the shell out uh, um, and clean these clean these uh, um, turbans. And then after that, you can either cook them in a pot and um, for about five minutes and try and get them out with a wee spoon or a knife like that but I had a wee few of them so I've just gone and got a hammer outside and banged them and then taken them out and I'll show you what they look like when you take them out of the shell so here's a shell I've gone and got a hammer after I've boiled them for about five minutes and there's what the snail looks like so I'll just take away the rest of that shell See there? And there's a wee, like a little wee head on it. See this piece here? I'll take that away as well. I'll tell you what it tastes like in a minute. So see, take that hard bit of shallow out. So I'll go and cut that. And here it's too. So I'm cutting this piece off the end of it. There, get rid of that. You can actually use these later on, these parts for jewellery or things like that, even if you play housey for the, for the dibs. What have we got? What sort of questions have we got? I remember when the Thomas family went to Manapurda. Manip okay, I'll carry on looking. So, there we go. We have the whole snail out of the shell, or the toy toy out of the shell. So I'll wash that after that, just to make sure there's no more sand. See the foot there? So I'll make sure I wash that in cold water. And then I end up with all these. Look at that. And so from there, what they are secured from Rose Hurua, how can we come stay with you? We'll worry about that after I've cooked these. You don't want to come and stay with me at the moment, it's winter. So in the winter, it's um, we don't get a lot of light down here, so you can't gather a lot. And I don't really like exposing people that aren't used to the cold uh, to the elements. Um, if you're seasoned and you've been here before and you're used to the cold, fair enough. But for your first experience, you want to be here in the summer or the spring. Um, anyway, I'll go and I'll go and mince these first. I'm trying to read this at the same time. I should have had my glasses on. Kia ora, can we buy seafood off you? No, I'm against people selling seafood. I give it away. Uh, I don't trade it, um, and I certainly don't sell it. Uh, hi from Wyndham. Oh, that's not far away, is it? Kia ora. Hi from. Cromwell, it would be cold there at the moment, wouldn't it? Love your videos, auntie. Kia ora. Okay, I'm going to mince these anyway. So, just put 
them through the mincer. That's the whole thing, guts and all. I've just taken off that wee piece of the shell at the front that blocks the entrance of the shell. All I've taken off and I've made sure I've washed these properly after I've had them soaking in cold water for a few days. There we go, we're just mincing them. And the limit here in Southland for a cook's turban is 50 and there's no minimum size. So, but you don't need 50, the size of the ones that we get down here, I only need about half a dozen to have a decent meal. So, uh, but uh, you go onto the Ministry of Primary Industry website and that'll tell you the catch limit. Sometimes they don't tell you, because I eat all sorts of seafood, so it won't tell you Pacific seafood, it'll tell you about uh, oysters or tuaro, but it won't tell you, it won't cover toy toys, so they'll say a combined catch limit. Do you freeze your seafood? Some, some seafood I freeze, because when I get my visitors, I like to give them um, a feed to take home. Uh, but most of the, the food I eat is fresh. Kia ora from Zimbabwe. Oh, that's a long way. Okay, so anyway, I'll put that one in there. It looks like parvo or abalone. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. So there's our toy toy. And it just looks like parvo. Look at that. See? So I, I mix it all up. Some people dissect it. I don't. Put the whole lot in. So and it looks like power too. So from there I add a couple of eggs, throw in some onions, what else have you got to say? What is that? It's Toy Toy Captain Tur Turban. I'm pregnant and craving Kenna and Cray. Well good luck with that. Kia ora from Hong Kong. Kia ora. Do they taste like power? Yes, they do. So, a couple of eggs. You can tell the difference between the eggs. Like I've got two eggs in there. And I've put one free-range one, which is the dark one. And then there's a broad one. See the difference in colour. Anyway, we'll mix that up. A couple of eggs, some onion and flour, I don't measure. I'm one of those people that just chucks everything in. I've got a sister, Hinamok, my other sister, and she always goes to me, oh, how did you make that tree? And I go, oh, two tablespoons of flour, um, 20 grams. She said, you don't know, do you? I said, no, I don't, because she's accurate. She likes to measure everything, whereas I just throw it all in. You get an idea after a while how much. So that's about, I don't know, four tablespoons of flour. There's your mixture. It's finer than power. Look at that. Poor, yes, it is poor man's power. Kia ora from Taupo. Taupo. I should say that properly. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it. I'm going to cook it. And I just, when I cook it, I use um, olive oil. You can use any oil. But I always make sure I use butter to add to flavour. Not margarine. I never cook with margarine. And it's got the salt in it. So I always use butter. That adds the flavour with all my seafood. So oil and butter. And I've got a great big huge pan here. I have a large whanau and I, it's nothing worse than trying to cook food and you've only got a skinny little pan. So I have a, two big stainless steel uh, pans that I cook, cook my f food on. So, and it's just a patty. You can do all sorts with this. 
like I'm just making a patty for tea tonight. And that'll just cook away there. Okay, I'll Hi from Hawke's Bay, kia ora. Uh, smells salty. It actually, it reminds me of a cross between Pawa and Toyoro, if you've ever tasted that. Uh, kia ora, love your mahi, thank you. Are you looking for a new husband? I haven't even got a husband, so... <laughs> what would I want with one of those? I'd have to run around after him. <laughs> Man's got to add to my life, not take away from it. Kia ora, auntie. Kia ora from Africa. Gosh, that's a long way. Newtown, where's that? Is that Wellington? Kia ora, love you, mahi. What do you say at the beginning of every video? I say kia ora, which means hello. And depending on when you're, you're saying the word, it's a way of saying goodbye as well, or good health. So I'll say at the start or at the end, so I'll say kia ora, hello. But sometimes I'll say morena, uh, and that means uh, good morning. Are you from Southland? No, I, my father is of Irish descent and he was a lighthouse keeper and I was born in the Hauraki Gulf on a, a lighthouse. My father delivered me uh, on Mukwehino Island. And uh, in those days, in the 1960s, uh, the lighthouse keepers spent a couple of years on one lighthouse and they went to another one, another one, another one. So then we went on to Chiritibi Matangi and then carried on down south here to Pusica Point. So that's how I ended up down here uh, from my father being a lighthouse keeper. But um, uh, my mother's from Ruatoria, she's a Hine Kenohoa. Um, her mother was a Jensen, uh, Nanny Hinamo, and uh, my mother's Ngati Koro. So, and I've got about, got quite a few brothers and sisters. My eldest is Makere, who has passed away. And um, then we've got uh, Hinamore, who's in Gisborne, the district health nurse. Then we've got Rosie, who's in Gisborne. Uh, she, um, she's a, what would you call her? She has her own business, teaching teachers, learning leaders. That's a business she has, learning leaders. Then we have uh, Fred. Fred was a detective down here, still in the police force. And then I've got uh, Connie, she's in Hunterville. And then I've got uh, Pitipi, Philip, who's in Sydney in the tunnels. Uh, and then I've got Ricky, who's also in the tunnels. Um, and have I got them all? I've got a few anyway. What's the other questions? Um, How many was it? I don't know. How many was what? Okay. It's just cooking like a power two. What else have we got there? I've worked with Connie. Yeah, well you'd remember that. Kyoda Fire from Sydney Kyoda. That's where my son is, Jack. So he's gone over. He's living with my brother Philip. Listen to that, can you hear that? Sounds like an air raid, that's our fire alarm in Wallacetown. How far from Whatauroa are you? No, I'm in Wallacetown, near Invercargill. My mum is from Hiraharama. Kia ora, ours is Te Awara Marae, so you know where that is up Whakapaurangi Road. Um, how's it from Adelaide? Oh, okay. All over the world. Isn't it amazing? People from all over the world. Okay, I'll just cut part of this so you can see what it looks like now. See that? It's toy toy. And it just looks like power. And I'll, I'll cut a wee piece off. I've got it on the, on the plate. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So there's your toy toy. Look at that. And it just looks like power too. I think it's more delicate than power. 
it's not as strong, but it's really delicious. Look at that. Um, you would think it was power. If you didn't know, uh, I would think if I was just eating it, if I'd gotten out of the fridge and I didn't know if someone else had cooked it, I would think I was eating power. I've got a wee bit of onion in there. Don't put too much flour, but put enough flour so that it's combined. Uh, your smoke alarm needs... It's really amazing how anybody watches everything that goes around, you know. Yeah, it does, it does need replaced. Can you make them with cream? You could make them with any... You could make up a recipe. This is just what I'm using tonight, but you can do whatever you want. You could cream them. Um, I just joined, what is it? It's Toy Toy or Cook's Turban. So when you go diving, you're gonna see these in the water. They're like a snail and they eat seaweed, uh, algae. They crawl along, there they are. It's really hard to get them out when they're all fresh. Put them in uh, fresh water when I get home for a few days to get all the sand out, purge the sand out. Then I just, uh, you can either boil them first and try and get them out like that or boil them and then take them outside, get the ham and then give them a whack and then take them out and then wash them, which is quicker, I find. Um, can you be next? Who would want to be a Prime Minister? Who would want her job? Everyone's moaning all the time. I love you, Teresa. I love watching you and listening to you. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. Must have been great seafood at Teddy Teddy back in the day. Yes, it was. Uh, we didn't know any different, so... We just ate what was put in front of us. Uh, but it's funny because um, now and again I'll go to a, um, a, a restaurant and um, I'm really fussy when it comes to seafood. And uh, uh, so unless someone's really recommended the place, I won't order the seafood because generally it's been frozen. How do you pronounce your name? Also, my mum is from the same that I was at uh, Well, I, uh, my name is Teresa, but... People call me Treza, my 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 family call me Tree, um, and people workmates call me Tess. What's your favourite seafood ever? My favourite seafood is kanakana or lamprey eel. So I'll be gathering them in uh, July, and I'll show you how I gather them. I just grab them off the rocks. What's it doing on my head? Uh, Where are you from? Where are you from? I already said where I'm from. It's sort of hard. When someone asks you that question, it's really, really a wee bit hard because most of us are living all over the place. We're not actually living where we're from. And when you say where you're from, do you mean where is my tribe from? For the East Coast, Ngāti Porau, or where was I born? In the Hauraki Gulf. Um, but I've lived most of my life in Southland and worked overseas. Do you have asthma? Um, no, but I've had a bit of a cold. What do you do for mahi, if you don't mind me asking? I work at TY Aluminium Smelter, so uh, that's near Bluff. I've been there about 16 years. Before that, I worked overseas. Will you be my mum? Oh, what a nice thing to say. Um, what's the local currency? The New Zealand dollar. Have you ever caught snapper? Yes, I have. I think it's a wee bit overrated myself. I prefer blue cod. Uh, what would be my favorite fish? I, actually, anything that's fresh, really. What else? Do you, do your tamariki enjoy gathering kai moana like you? Well, do my children enjoy it? When you have to do something 24-7, it's, it's just a way of life. And it's funny because um, people say, to, say, oh, what do your children think of you being on TikTok? And um, they don't really think anything. And probably my oldest daughter might follow me. My other two don't. Jack and Amy don't. Amy's in America and North Carolina. Uh, and she works there. And she's married to an American. And Jack, he's in the tunnels in Sydney. Uh, they don't follow me at all because they've lived this life. So it's just, uh, it's nothing new. Um, they've got memories of all this. I don't want to be reminded of it 24-7. And it may look um, 
<laughs> may look enjoyable to use, but when you've got to get up at five o'clock every morning and uh, go out in the cold when you would rather be in bed um, and gather food, um, it's not as exciting as it, what it might appear to be when you're watching it for three minutes on a video. Uh, but when they come home now, that's the first thing they like to do is um, we all, all go out and we'll dive uh, or, or we'll hunt. And uh, I've got uh, Sarah's in Sydney, my eldest daughter, and uh, I've got three mokopuna or grandchildren, uh, and they're all girls, and I and they all like to bring them home here, and uh, I take them out and try and drum as much knowledge into them as possible. Um, hey, Auntie, kia ora. Kia ora, Michael. Uh, this, i just seen my nephew, Michael Taniroa. Uh, he's on. Does a smell to do? Oh, can't. Fresh from Tangaro is always best. Love you. Do you? Do, no, I don't really do tours so much. I have um, I have about up to four people here on my days off. So I have four days on, four days off. I work twelve hour days, um, and I have four people here. It's good to have a few people because uh, they can sort of feed off each other and they don't feel like um, they're useless. Um, whereas if you just had one, they might feel like, oh, I know, I don't know how to do this, or they're unsure. Well, as if you've got a group of yous, um, you can, yous can all support each other. So I have four people. Uh, people usually message me a messenger and let me know, or on my link, I've got a, a link on my um, TikTok, and they message me, they tell me about themselves and why they want to gather. If they just want to gather because they want to get a feed, well, you might as well just go to a supermarket. I don't want people like that. I want people that um, are really interested in learning because it's not just about the food, it's about our, our environment. And um, yeah, so that's the sort of people I want that, that would really feel like they'd benefit. And it's not just um, uh, even just, people take away from being with me different things, mental health, um, how to gather, why we gather. Um, some of it's just for a confidence thing. Uh, and I just record their names down, and when I have time, I get back to them. Hey, Auntie, do you have a boat? I can't, this is going so fast, and so said, no, I don't have a boat. I like to gather food um, where uh, you're just on land main, mainly. Uh, friends have boats, but I want to be able to gather so that um, I can teach people. Just average Joe Blogs doesn't have a boat, just has a few kids or half a dozen kids, whatever, and they can go and um, uh, get a feed. And they don't need to spend, uh, who would want a boat now with this price of um, fuel? Uh, what does a smelter do? Sorry if that's a dumb question. There's never a dumb question and always pays to ask. It makes aluminium. So um, see how you're using all your phones at the moment? Well, half that phone's made of aluminium. Uh, just about everything that you, your whole environment has aluminium in it. So before people put it down, they've got to realise uh, they're using aluminium, even in their cars, in their everyday life. Love your brows. The thing about my eyebrows and my eyes, you always see there's like black lining there. I, I had cancer and um, I, I had chemotherapy and I lost all my hair and my eyes and that. So my sister's... Uh, um, sheltered me um, eyeliner and eyebrows to make it look like I had eyebrows. Uh, I, I, I didn't think it would bother me too much when I lost it all, but it did because I looked horrible. I looked like an albino, I had no hair or anything, I just wore a cap, and uh, that just gave me a bit of an uplift. So now I'm stuck with them now, and my hair's grown back, um, and my eyebrows have grown back. Uh, I'm stuck with all this anyway, but um, it just reminds me of what my sisters did for me anyway. Uh, my partner's a cow, uh, tattooing. Yes, it is tattooed. Rank your top five kai moana, my top five kai, uh, kana kana, mussels, uh, what else do I like? Fish, fresh fish, I like fish heads, blue cod heads, um, like oysters, uh, prawns, uh, Really, it has just as long as it's fresh. Thoughts on mutton bird? Well, they've been going for over 800 years and they're still going. Um, there's a lot of mahi goat that goes into there, and if you think, oh, they're not um, sustainable, uh, the mutton birders know what they're doing because it's part of their livelihood, and um, uh, and 
uh, they're still um, gathering birds now, so they must be must be sustainable. I can't really go into it too much at the moment. Do you ever eat takeaways? Yes, I do. Uh, actually, the, I, the other day, I for the first time this year, I went and got KFC. So I drive up there, and uh, I went to get the KFC, paid for it, then drove away, and I got home, and they'd given me the wrong order. And I thought, oh, well, that'll teach you. A bit ho ha with that. Uh, do you have a cheeseburger on the way home? No, not really. Auntie, have you ever been to Taupo or to Taupo? It's my favourite other than, yes, I have. Love what you do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know how long. How long am I supposed to be on these lives for anyway? Do I just keep on going or what? Um, what's your favourite part of New Zealand and why? My favourite part of New Zealand is Fiordland because uh, there's no people, uh, there's plenty of seafood and, you know, down way down this way, um, Preservation Inlet down that way, uh, Dusky Sound um, and the bird life is beautiful, uh, the air is fresh, uh, that's why I like that part of New Zealand. Oh, you can be as long as like, do you have a good... Vinny stew recipe. I think the the um, key to a good venison stew is a crock pot or um, a pressure cooker. Um, and as uh, you know, as long as you cook it over a bit of time and it's tender, it'll taste nice. And you can chuck in whatever you want. I know I've never gathered um, I've never gathered kaimoana in the Hawke's Bay. No, my fritters aren't burning. I've turned them down. So look at that. Look at that. And that it's hot. That is yummy. <laughs> Just tastes like power. Kyoto from Taranaki, I'm your videos. Look at that. What I'd like to do is go back to, to 200 followers so that I can do this full time. I don't have to go back to the smelter. So I encourage your friends to, to join. Then I can go all around New Zealand. Okay, is your job hard? I was the only woman on the four crews in my job for a while, so it was hard to begin with, putting up with certain attitudes, but it's changed over time. We need you on Māori television. Uh, hi from Tamaru. Yeah, I've been on TV. I was on the Hui the other day. I've been asked to go on a few programs, but they uh, weren't in line with my co-papa. What I mean is, um, I didn't agree with. I don't want to just go out on a boat with a whole lot of uh, fellas catching fish and showing it at the whole of New Zealand and the world my spots. That's detrimental, uh, you know, to the environment and to what I do. I want. I want. I, I'd like to be on a program where. Um, you go out with uh, everyday people, not just the boys for a, a, a fish. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, we all have to do our thing, but I'd like it so that um, people can learn in my videos, not just think of it as a, a piss up. Um, uh, kia ora trees, I love watching your videos. Kia ora. I'd, uh, kia ora, love your content from Perth. That's a long way. I wonder what time it is over there. Yep, so sustainability is important. Am I supposed to read these questions out or just... Um, I just had some paringo for dinner. Yum. I love paringo. And which is a seaweed or karingo that you call it, some people call them. And this is a time to be gathering um, uh, seaweed to dry out and, and cook. Um, it grows in the winter. There's Sydney again. Can you slow these questions down? Because there's hundreds of them and they're going fast. I read half the question and then... I heard you have a big wait list. I do have a big wait list. But sometimes I jump the queue if I think someone's more important than someone else. 
And, and sometimes I get someone saying, oh, we'd like to go and get crayfish, we'd like to get that. Well, they go to the bottom of the list. Because it's not about what you want, it's about what's available at the time and about actually having the experience. You want to get a crayfish, you just go to the supermarket or wherever you go. Kia ora from hometown Gisborne. Kia ora. I want to come for a visit one day. Kia ora from Sydney. Um, I work in the tunnels in Sydney, auntie. Kia ora. Say hello to Jack for me, if you see him. Uh, what else? I've never been diving, fishing, gathering, hunting, but I'd love to see the questions gone. I don't expect anyone to know how to do anything when they come to visit me. If they already know how to do it, well, what's the point of coming and seeing me? It's usually people that haven't had the opportunity to hunt. I can't put my TikToks of hunting on here. I've started putting them on YouTube. I haven't put many on, but um, uh, I want people that don't get the opportunity or don't have the contacts because I do have. Um, and what else have we got here? I'm originally from Tolaga Bay. Ua, kia ora. Yeah, my sister Huya. Oh, I forgot Huya in the list of my sisters. I've got a little sister called Huya too. I, I rattled off all my brothers and sisters. I forgot Huya. She's our baby sister. Blonde and blue eyed. Some of us have got brown eyes, dark skin, and the rest of us, because some of us look like mum, some of us look like dad. And um, where's that picture? I've got a picture. I'll show you a picture of my mum so you know. Can you see that? So there's mum, Henny Kennel, and there's me. So, but who bug, where? She's blonde and blue eyes. And she used to be a teacher in Tolaga Bay. Kia ora from Germany, that's a long way, isn't it? Do you have a rate for people to learn to come? I don't charge people. Um, I'm, 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 I'm against that. Uh, uh, they come in and they just fit in with me. Um, I like give them a koha um, and whatever they can afford, but they're not expected, uh, I don't expect them to pay. Um, but they do help out with petrol. Someone sent me a whole a bag of kumara the other day. Uh, um, if, I, if I were to charge, then I, I find that the people that would benefit the most would uh, miss out. What's your mum's name? My mother's name is Henny Kenor Hoa, but uh, she married my father, John Shandley. Here's a picture of my dad. So there's my mother, Henny Kenor, and there's my dad, John Shandley. I've got his hooked nose. But anyway, I think, I think I've talked talk long enough, but what I think I'll start doing is um, uh, cooking every now and again and doing a live. Um, uh, uh, doing a live to show you what I'm eating or what I'm cooking. Um, can I cook for you? I'd love you to cook for me. The ideal man to me would be able to cook. Um, I'm coming to Queenstown in July the 20th. People don't bother giving me dates when you're coming and that because I don't know what I'm going to be doing there. What do you do with the shells? Um, uh, these ones, uh, and the kinder shell in the garden, they get crushed up. Uh, the power shell goes to a carver and the odd person gets them. Someone just said they've got a frozen crayfish, what's the way to eat it? Well, you're gonna have to boil it. Uh, put it in boiling water, not for, uh, thaw it out and then boil it, but not for long. Is there a time limit for them? I don't really know what you mean by that. Hi, Teresa. Okay, how do people book with you? They put a message in Messenger, in the Messenger under my name, and they tell me about themselves, and they tell me why they want to come. Don't go on and on, because I haven't got all day. Uh, just say why you think you'd benefit from coming. Um, uh, you tell me your age, and whether your, ha your, your ha fitness level, because we're going, um, I'm going up and down hill and we're going a long way, so I want to know that you'll be able to keep up. And if you can't keep up, then I'll group you with another lot that can't. You know, um, if you're fit, then we'll go further afield. Um, what else? It's Chubb here. Hello, kia ora. Who's that from Tuatapere? Do you like them young? I'm um, I hope you mean seafood, not men. Uh, 
I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Oh, we'll get the break. Anyway, um, I'll let you go and I'll um, finish eating my toy toy. So, kia ora. Now, how do I turn this thing off? I don't even know how to turn it off. I wish Jack was here. Can some of you tell me how you turn this thing off? There's fucking um, words all over the place. Are there, where is it? I could just pull the cord out, couldn't I? Bye. Circle with a line in it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.